guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited for today's video because i you can see the look i am so okay i'm not going to reveal anything but let's just get started with this video guys so hello hello to all of you who are back here again i'm sorry maybe my earrings are going to be creating a lot of noise throughout the video so just please bear with me but do let me know in the comment section um down below if you guys like my look how do i look and um, if you want any details i'm also wearing this cuff beautiful cuff um and i can tell you where i got it from but i want to know if you really want to know that okay that was complicated so do let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to know how i created this look and you can follow me on instagram to actually see how i created this look so yes please follow me there in this video i'm going to share with you my reviews and how i used the cryolin digital complexion fluid foundation that's too many words in one but if you want to know actually i purchased the concealer and the corrector so in this video i'm going to use all three together i always like to purchase a set maybe like a combination of a concealer and a foundation or a concealer and a pressed powder so is it just me or do you also like to do that let me know in the comment section now if you want to know about the newly launched cryolin concealer and foundation and i also purchased the corrector please keep on watching but please take a moment to subscribe to my channel now coming back to the foundation and the concealers this is how it looks like this is the cryolin digital complexion fluid foundation and i am in the shade 016 it's a frosted glass bottle and it also comes with a pump which i'm very happy about this definitely gives you luxury feels unlike the other products from cryolin i also have the camouflage cream and the uh, supra color from from this brand and oh my god they are insane they are beautiful they are full freaking coverage i'm also going to mention the shade of my foundation and concealer from other brands so if you want to purchase these concealers and foundations then it's going to be a little bit more easier for you if you want me to tell you a few more other products from this brand do check out my description bar below and i will let you know the other products that i really really like from this brand and you can probably go check it out now moving on to foundation guys i'm going to talk to you about this foundation and tell you how i really feel about it while i'm doing the application of this foundation and now moving on to the concealer that i purchased this is a digital complexion concealer and i really like it because it's packaging is totally different it's in the form of a pen and it comes with a brush as well which is attached more like the ysl two chiclat uh, under eye cream or the concealer that they have I used to use it many many years ago so I don't really remember the name of the YSL to Chiclat I just remembered this much so I think it's a very good alternative to the YSL to Chiclat and I'm in love with the packaging guys it definitely feels luxurious and I can tell you that a small amount can go a really really long way now I also purchased the corrector because you know Cryolin has some amazing correctors so I purchased the digital complexion corrector and this is in the shade DCN45 this is the same packaging as the concealer and I am actually very happy with it because I don't need to use an extra brush or or you know carry an extra brush so I can definitely carry this and it'll work with a beauty blender so I can definitely just apply it with this and um, you know blend it out with the blender so I really like this and again I will tell you my reviews about the concealer and the corrector while I'm doing the application so now let's start applying these products so I'm going to start applying the digital complexion corrector this is in the shade DCN45 and this is a peach corrector I'm going to start applying this under my eyes where I have dark circles and other pigmented areas on my face this corrector is extremely pigmented guys as I twisted the pen only twice and there was a very small amount of product that was released on the brush and you could see how much it, coverage it could you know give me on my face. I had to literally pick up the product under my eyes to spread it all over my face. 
I also spread the product, I further spread the product under my eyes with the same brush because I just wanted it to sink into my skin and I must say that I'm really really impressed with this product. I love the peach shade, it has got a little bit of the orange but I think for my skin tone, I am loving it. Now moving on to our foundation, I'm going to take two pumps of the fluid foundation and I think this should be enough but we will find out if we need more, I will taste I will just apply a little bit more and um, as you guys know I've been doing foundation reviews so I'm going to just blend one side of my face with a beauty blender and the other one with a brush just to find out which tool works better to blend this foundation out. So first I'm going to blend with a blender and that's why I'm applying dots all over this side of my face. I need a little bit more, I think like half a pump more for half a side. So I think for the full face, I will need about four to four and a half pumps. When you're applying foundation after corrector, please ensure that you apply the foundation on top of your corrector as well because you don't want any peachiness to shine beneath your foundation or your concealer. So, they are, so your foundation will just hide the corrector. And now I'm going to blend out my foundation with the damp beauty blender. So I'm taking a little bit more foundation from the back of my hand on my blender and applying it on my forehead in tapping motions Be because I could see there was a little less coverage on my forehead and I could see the peach corrector shining beneath it. And now I'm going to take two more pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand to apply the foundation on this side with a brush. So I'm going to apply it with a flat brush and blend it out with a buffing brush. So it's definitely lesser foundation used when applied with a brush and now I'm going to blend it out just to find out the difference that which tool is preferable to blend out this foundation. So I don't really see any major difference when applied with a brush and a beauty blender. However, when applied with a brush, I always like to go back with my beauty blender and just tap it all over my face so that we have a seamless and a flawless looking base. And that is why I would definitely prefer to apply it with a beauty blender. And the biggest difference is if you are concerned about this, the foundation when applied with a beauty blender I could use two and a half pumps but with a brush I almost just needed about one pump of foundation so you can see this much of foundation is already left and I'm going to apply this on my neck. So the concealer is the same amount as the corrector and now I'm going to apply this under my eyes and at the places where I might want to highlight a little bit. And now I'm going to blend it out with the damp beauty blender. So this is how my face looks after applying the corrector foundation and concealer from this brand and let me do the rest of my face and I will be right back. So this is my final look guys. I have completed the rest of my face off camera like I said and I am extremely extremely happy with the foundation and the concealer because they did not even crease and it's not even feeling heavy on the skin which I really really like about this foundation. As you can see the foundation and the concealer has given me a beautiful finish and a lovely coverage however I just wish that the concealer was a little bit more pigmented because I can see a little bit of my dark circles like I can see a little bit grayness under my eyes which I'm not very satisfied however I will um, you know apply another concealer on top of it the next time I'm going to wear it. You can leave it as is but it's just my personal choice. I like my under eyes to be a little bit more covered so I would apply another concealer but honestly this combination is phenomenal. It's very good. I really like it and I definitely recommend it. So I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please show me some love by clicking on the thumbs up button in the bottom bar. You can find all the details of the products that I'm wearing on my face in the description bar as well and if you want me to do a review on any other product do let me know in the comment section down below. I will definitely try and get my hands on that product and do a review for you guys. So this is it from my side for this video guys. I hope you have 
have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already please take a moment to do so please become a member of my family it will really mean a lot to me and i will see you very soon in my next video till then take care and be safe and thank you so much for watching